All right, everyone, what is happening? We're now in week 12, I think it is, and today is Monday the 25th of March. I thought following on from last week's episode, rather than jumping back into this week in forensics, because I've covered that a lot, <clears throat> and there's lots of content still there for you guys to go and have a look at and see what you're interested in, but I would extend on what I was talking about last week in that long, kind of hardly a week episode that I did, and talk about a few of the recommendations that I made and where to find them. So the first one here is you can see what's on my screen now for those that are watching. For those that are listening to just the podcast, I've got up Professor Messer's CompTIA Security Plus, the 501 training course. So you can just Google this. And for those that want to, obviously the links will be in the show notes, but those that just want to Google it, it's Professor, that's spelt normally, Messer is M-E-S-S-E-R and he runs his own courses so there is paid content you can do and i think it's a structured training program so if i go to his website you can join up and please copy the text he needs what uh who protects the site from malicious activity oh this is probably because my apologies i'm connected to a vpn at the moment so it's probably detecting that so let's try this again yeah so it's blocking certain countries Interesting. Um, okay, so Professor Messer's Security Plus course. This has a whole bunch of intro stuff in here that you can look at. It links back to the YouTube videos. And I think you can do, yeah, so he has the free Security Plus video, so that's where I just was. And then there's course notes, practice exams. He is a very good teacher. So if you want guided lessons, I would recommend Professor Messer. This is how I learnt, and I did another company ran through CompTIA Sec Plus with me, and I didn't think it was that good. Um, I won't call them out who it is, but I would recommend Professor Messer. I would also recommend just doing the free courses. So if you can kind of set up your own schedule, you can see here this is his YouTube channel that you come to, and I'll have the link as well. There is a bunch of study group stuff. You can go and have a look at the videos that he does have. He's got the courses themselves, so the ones that are up here are the Sec Plus and Network Plus ones, and then there's playlists. So let's have a look at those. Uh, yeah, they're just the different study groups and training courses as well that he chucks up. There's also, it looks like there's old A Plus certification training as well, but the Sec Plus is kind of where I would start it. So for those of you that are brand new, doesn't matter what you're looking at getting into and just want a foundation in cybersecurity, Highly recommend just going through these videos. So I tried to see how long all of this all up was and I couldn't easily see, I can't easily see the playlist and where it is. But there's 141 videos. Scrolling through here, I can see there's a video for 734. A lot of them sit around the three minute mark. I think the 734 is probably, it's like an intro. Oh, there is vulnerability types, which is 20 minutes. Again, like a lot of these sit under the five minute mark. So there's a, while there's a lot of content here, it is in bite size. So if you've got a five minute break in between when you're doing work, just watch one of these videos. You will need to set aside some time for that 20 minute video, but there is a lot of content here. That's all I'm gonna leave you with for this week. For those that wanna start out and just wanna get their head in the game and start getting an idea of cybersecurity and some of the terminology around it, because it covers quite a lot in this course, this, you could speed run this in a week, realistically. If you want to space it out a bit more, just I would dedicate maybe half an hour a night. That would get you through, what's that? Maybe six videos, six, seven videos each night and break that down over the 141 videos. But it's, again, remember, it's a uh, marathon, not a race. So this is a good place to start. For all those that want more content, I've got a new video up on YouTube where I go through a Google Sheets C2 example, and you can actually run that yourself. If you've got a Google Cloud account, you can get some free credits, set up the C2, have it run on your own machine and have a play around with it. The video fully explains where to get that, how to do it, what you can change to make it harder to detect. And it just gives you some hands-on experience in some of the technical space. So if you're interested in playing with something that's a really easy proof of concept and you can start to understand how you would write detection measures and see how it works and living off, I, I guess call it cloud living off the land is how I like to think of it, then definitely go check that out. I will have that linked at the end of this video for those that are on YouTube and I will also have it linked in the show notes for those that are in the podcast that want to go watch it as well. 
But thanks everyone for listening. If you're interested in supporting, please check out, I've got a buy me a coffee on my website at hardlyadequate.com. I've got plenty of other content linked from there. Uh, you can jump in the Discord server. I've still got challenge coins to sell. Uh, the links are in, oh no, the links aren't in the description anymore, but they're on, you can hit me up on Discord and I will arrange payment and how to send them out to you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys all next week and keep looking forward to the new content that's coming out. Bye.